What's up, though, everybody? It's Hollywood Street Savage, aka Mr. Tote the Plastic, and I'm about to do a story time with y'all right quick. I'm about to tell y'all about the time I escaped a juvenile detention transport van, hopped out right in traffic, earthed up, chopped on me. And uh, so I'm about to tell y'all about that. So, boom, I was locked up as a juvenile. Man, I, I had to be like, maybe like 15, something like that. I don't know. And, uh, so I'm sitting in J building, just doing dead time, just doing dead time sitting. I ain't even sentenced yet or nothing. So I'm sitting or whatever. And then like, when I was younger, I, I, I used to hang around a lot of older dudes, you feel me, that were older than me and stuff. And uh, I had a few friends that was like my age and, and you know, whatever. But a lot of dudes like, they was a childish and you know, I wasn't knowing what they was on. So like, you know, just cause I was around older niggas and shit and I was more seasoned. And uh, so like when I when I was locked up and I was in there, I wasn't really interacting with a lot of people. I would just sit in the back and just be quiet and just peep the scene and shit, you know, and stay to myself. And then so it was another dude in there that was on the same shit and I peeped out about him. Uh, his name was Lejeune from the West Side. And uh, I'll never forget dog. That was my dog. So and uh so we got tight in there off that. Just I peeped that shit about him and then we just you know, small talking and then we just got cool over time. So um they end up sentencing sentencing me to like boot camp and like I just wasn't trying to do none of that, you know? I'm like, man, fuck this. So, um, they had this big ass map on the floor that we was on. They had this big ass map of Michigan and it was so detailed that it had every street, every alley, every, everything on there. And so we started scoping that and start like, nigga, we going, you know, cause he was about to go home. He was about to get released like right before I um, went to my program or whatever. So then we had devised this little plan like uh, to break me out. And he was going to link, he was going to get out and go link with somebody else. And then we was going to, you know what I'm saying? They was going to come link up with me and I was going to top up from the spot and then be gone, you know what I'm saying? So that was the plan. And uh, he was with it, you feel me? We, we was heavy rocking. We was, man, we was, that was my dog, but he was with it. So um, the day come for me to finally go to the boot camp program, transport come to get me. I'm thinking it's going to be like sheriffs with the shackles and the... Um, you know, in the little transport van with the cages and the windows and all that. Man, they come get me in a regular Astro van. Regular Astro van. I'm like, what the fuck? So then, boom, we hop in the whip. He tell me to buckle up. That's it. I'm like, oh, man. So we going down uh, down Telegraph. We get right up there, Telegraph and Dixie, right by the flea market at that light. Boom. Then I'm already, like, my heart pumping, you know? I'm like, shit, I can fucking dip just like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just waiting. Like, no, let's see, you know, because I'm still far a little distance away from the neighborhood. <clears throat> I might not make it. So we green light. We keep going straight. We headed towards, like, Hawthorne Park and all that. And, uh, like, headed towards Hawthorne Park and, like, Walton and stuff coming up on Walton. And uh, so I'm seeing my chance. I'm like, man, I used to play all all in them trails and all that by Hawthorne all that shit when I was younger with my cousin and shit so I'm knowing all that shit right there so then I um we stop at the red light this, this my chance right here I'm seeing it he just chilling but tapping his fingers on the steering wheel listening to some music I'm like this is my chance my heart pounding and shit I'm fucking like going crazy you know I'm like it's now or never it's my chance right here so then I get to put it one hand on the um seat belt to get ready to undo that boy quick and then I put my hand my other hand on the door and you know if you pull the handle you can feel it like if that boy locked it's just gonna pull all the way but if it's unlocked it's gonna like stop you know what I'm saying so I felt like it was gonna stop so I'm like oh shit this bitch unlocked so one quick motion simultaneous one, one quick motion same time I hit the motherfucking um, I hit the seat belt and open the door same time <laughs> hopped out quick as fuck after taking off dip, going crazy, uh, I'm, I'm chopped up, boom, and uh, then I trip, trip over something on the ground, boom, bust my shit, hop right back up, keep going. <laughs> he done fucking, he done hit the, the hit a U hit, 
on the other side, you know, like on the other side of the divider. And he back like following me, but he's in the street, you know, on the other side of the divider and stuff, you know. And um, he on his phone and stuff, calling it in or whatever. So I turned into the fucking, uh, the, into the trees and the bushes and the trails and shit. It was like some little swamp shit, some deep ass swamp shit, man. Stop. I ain't even want to walk through that shit, man. I'm like, fuck it. I went through that shit. That shit slowed me down, too. We got all in my shoes and just weighed my shoes down. And it was slowing me down and stuff when I was running. But I, I just pushed through that shit, kept running. And then uh, I ended up in, like, in Walton Park. Ended up in Walton Park. Uh, and, and, and Kiki Lee. A uh, leak sister out there with a whole bunch of other people and shit. Nigga, she gave me the shirt off her back. I'll never forget it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, my body the hook, they on me. They 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 about to snatch me up. She threw me her shirt or whatever right up off her back. You know what I'm saying? Just to throw them off and just you know what I'm saying? Just cause they, I'm sure they had the description of me already. So boom, she threw me the shirt and shit. I kept that shit pushing, and uh, I ran to my people crib, and then uh. He was there. Thank God he was there, and he let me in. And then that was, and then man, the, the, the hood was swarming with state police. That was the first time I ever seen the state police in the neighborhood. Um, and yeah, that was that's how I escaped. I, got, I was out for a little minute, and you know, eventually I got caught, and I had to go answer to that. And uh, you know, the punishment was more severe, and I had to do a different program that was more time. And uh, so yeah, that's how that went. But uh, yeah, I dipped on them. And I was the reason why, after that, they um, they changed it, where you had to be shackled for that program, you know, for during transit and stuff. I was the reason why they changed it, and you had to be shackled, no cap. Uh, and so, yeah, that's how that went, man. That was the time I escaped the uh, juvenile detention transport. Till next time, I'm out.